Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to clean your water distiller and what to use. So the what is pretty easy and it's citric acid. Um, my machine came with a little bag of white stuff. I wasn't really sure what it is. Turns out this is what it is. So I bought this on Amazon. This is a two pound bag. It costs $16. You can buy it in larger quantities for less money per ounce if you want more of it. Um, the next time that I buy this, I will be buying more of it because I've since learned you can use it to clean all kinds of things. Toilets, toilet tanks, coffee machines, it's good for everything, but it's particularly good at removing hard water stains and calcium buildup, which is basically what we're doing with this thing. So let's move on to how do you clean? What you're going to do is you're going to remove the lid and you're going to boil it with the lid off. So you fill it with water, just like normal. You're going to put two tablespoons of the citric acid in there. And then my directions say you want to get it to a good rolling boil and then let it boil for 30 minutes. So in my case, I've discovered that's basically an hour. So I just fill it up, put in the citric acid, turn it on, set a timer for an hour and come back. Then what you want to do is dump it out. I go dump mine outside and I've got some oven gloves here that make it much easier. Um, it's going to be hot, so you're going to need something to pick it up. But the gloves make it so when you're pouring it out, it doesn't splash and burn you. So I recommend some of these as well. But once you get it emptied, you're gonna see that there's a white film all over the inside. It still looks dirty. But if you take it to your sink and put a little dish soap and water in there, take a rag to it, it'll wipe right off. There's no scrubbing involved. Every once in a while, I'll get a little spot that doesn't wanna come off. Don't even worry about it, because the next time you clean it, it'll come off. So just wipe it out real easy, uh, rinse it out, make sure you got all the soap out, and it's good to go. Now, uh, another tip is if you live in a hot climate like we do, we're in Arizona, um, you might have noticed this is my garage. I run this outside because it gives off a ton of heat and I just don't want that in my house. So garage is a great place to do this. Um, if you're interested in any of the other cleaning tips that I'm going to um, talk about that involve citric acid, please hit the like and subscribe buttons because I'm gonna be releasing those videos soon. So if you like this video, uh, if you learned anything, hit the like and subscribe. That would help me out. It also gives me a chance to teach you more stuff in the future. So thank you very much.